guys, it's me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. How are you doing today? <laughs> today we're going to talk about our favorite subject, which is sales. All right. What is our great subject for today? Our great subject for today that's got to do with selling is selling and working seven days a week. What do you say? I said selling and working seven days a week. Let me explain something to you. This is very important, especially if you're thinking about getting into sales. Remember this one thing. You're always selling. Okay. You may say, well, wait a minute. I'm, I'm at church right now. I'm over here at a bar. I'm over here at the country club. I'm out here at the mall. Guess what? You're always selling. I, I've had people say, Gary, I always see you talking to people on your phone. You're always working and stuff. And I tell them, I work seven days a week. And see, here's the reason why. Because, see, it's not about you anymore once you become a good salesperson, a great salesperson, an awesome salesperson. It's all about the customer. I'm going to tell you that right now. If you are a, a true salesperson who wants to be successful in selling, you've got to make yourself available seven days a week. Now, everybody wants to take a vacation, and that's great. But check this out. If you're just starting a new business, you don't start taking days off. You start working harder, and you work longer hours, and you work more. It's the same thing when it comes to being a salesperson. Now, you may work in an environment where customers come to you, and you only have so many hours in the day to work. But you got to remember, a lot of people, they lose good business because they're not available. So one of the benefits that I do for my customers and people I want to do business with is I do selfies with them. You go, oh, that's funny. Why would you do a selfie? Because what I do is I relate it to a good time, a smile on their face. We take a picture together with a smile. They have my telephone number, and I send them a text with the picture, and I ask them to put that on their phone, and I also also in turn have that on my phone so that means if the customer needs to get in touch with me it's like I don't know who that is calling I do I've got a picture I'm looking right at them and the key to success in this regard is people will do that kind of stuff but you have to make yourself available seven days a week you know it depends on what kind of you know you're working if you're working in the insurance business you definitely want to be available because people are dying to see you and in this regard I know that sounds funny but in reality people buy when they're ready to buy. Also, if you're working in real estate, okay, I'm going to tell you what, if you are working in your sphere of influence, which means the people that you communicate with, or maybe you get leads because these lead systems are sending you information and people that you need to talk to right away, you better be prepared to be ready to work. In my vehicle, I carry an outfit. I carry a couple of outfits. I carry comfortable shoes. I carry all of my, my products and my computer and things that I need so when I'm out and about or if I'm somewhere I am ready to roll baby because see here's the thing if you want to be successful in business you got to work your ass off especially in the beginning if you're not working your butt off in the beginning what you're doing is you're losing maybe possibilities for easy sales good sales because it's so hard when you first start a business it's really tough when you first get into sales because a lot of times people don't know you and they gotta you gotta figure out how to get customers but you here's the thing once you start getting out there doing the do it's just it just happens business starts coming in and people say well how did you become so successful how did you get all those customers what were you doing you were working your butt off you were working your ass off and what you were doing is you were making yourself available seven days a week okay when you start getting to be a big business and everything you got people working for you you probably could take some time off but if you're getting into the business of selling one of the key components is you got to go ahead and get yourself a great foundation. You got to get a wonderful foundation that's going to give you the capability to be able to learn how to sell, how to have a selling conversation, how to close sales, how to ask good, I said, good questions so that way you can help your customers see preview and value in what you're trying to sell. And see, our topic for today is selling 
Uh, why do I work seven days a week? Because <laughs> I need to. I got to. I want to make money. And it's like I said, honey, if you think that you don't need to work seven days a week, that's okay. Some people need to take a day off. But see, you know, I go to church. I believe in God. I do all the things that I'm supposed to. But when you have a business, you got to be ready to do business. Okay. Back in the day, they used to take the weekends off and stuff. But that's when most customers are available. They want to be able to reach out to you at any time. So, like I said, I tell my customers, you can call me anytime. And I don't even care if they call me late. So, if they call me late at night, I know these people are serious about buying something. And, you know, my name is Gary Lee Stanley. I am your sales guy. And I'm also, uh, I'm your real estate sales guy. So, if you have any questions or if you need any help, just give me a call at 904 904- 6628933 and if you're looking for some real estate check out my free website at your real estate sales guy.com and I'll show you all the exit real estate uh, all the stuff we got for sale and there's a whole bunch of homes for sale condos new construction I do it all but let's get back on track see working seven days a week doesn't mean you don't take care of your health it doesn't mean you don't think about your family you can't neglect your family. You got to let them know that you love them, but you also got to let them in on what's going on. Tell them, listen, right now, you know, dear old mom or dear old dad has to work their butt off so we can get this business so that way we can have a better, comfortable way of life. And I really love you. And to tell them all the time, I love you. Tell them you care about them. Let them know they're important and they matter. And you know what? What happens is if you at least let them know what's going on, they understand. They will appreciate it. Now, listen, guys, I'm going to tell you what. You do have to take care of your mates. You do have to take care of your children. You do have to make sure that you let them in and let them know. And a lot of times what I do in my business is I have a, a son. I've been taking my son on sales calls for years. I want this boy to learn to be independent and to see what work is all about so if you have the capability to have your young children or young adults uh, with you to see what you do i highly recommend it now for some companies that may not be the case but for me it works if you work it because i'm an entrepreneur i'm my own businessman and i can bring my son with me whenever the heck i want because i want my son to see what's out there remember i work seven days a week And sometimes people will call you at the weirdest times. But you've got to go when it's time to go. Now, if you're out of state and you're on a vacation or something, you better have a partner or somebody. But you better be available and answer the phones. Don't be hiding from your customers. And see, once you sell your customers, make sure you stay in touch with those customers. Remember, we work seven days a week. And our customers are the best referral source center for us. So if you're wanting to build your business, you got to get referrals. You got to ask them, please help me. Tell all your friends. Because once I do a good job for you, please share that information because they know a lot of people. And if they feel you've done a good job, they will have people contact you and they will help build your business. Now, if you're not in it for the customer, okay, that's all right. You may get that one sale. But what if you can get multiple sales? What if you can get a lot of sales just from one person? It happens. I've seen it in my own life. I've had people who sent customer after customer and different things that I've been selling over the years because they liked me. I took care of them. I was kind to them. I did the things that a lot of people don't normally do. I'm friendly. I'm nice. And see, the key to success is, in this regard, selling. Why why do you have to work seven days a week? And selling, you work seven days a week. Not necessarily physically, guys, but I've always got my phone attached to me. I've got my computer available. So if they want to ask me a question, it ain't like I got to go digging in the trenches because selling is it's a hard job but it's not physical sometimes i mean literally guys all you have to do is look up information give them information set appointments go out and see them so it's not like you're physically having to dig a ditch okay so by having your phone with you and telling your customers just give me a call at any time yeah it may be inconvenient you might be in the shower oh crap and if you are just give them a call right back make sure that you don't leave those people in limbo if they send you a text that means damn they're serious about wanting to do some business they just need a salesperson to help them buy something 
And, you know, my simple job today is just give you some advice. You know, it's working seven days a week may not sound like something for everybody. And you may have a job where you only have to work five days a week. But in reality, if you're smart, you'll get your business cards up. You'll go ahead and start talking to people everywhere you go. I go to the doctors, I hand out business cards. I go to the park, I hand out business cards. I go shopping, I hand out business cards. I am always on the go. I'm working seven days a week. And the key to success in this regard is when you work seven days a week, you get more opportunities to make more sales. Remember, especially in the beginning, guys, when you're starting a new business, a new career, a new sales job, you got to get sales. We work on this magic thing called commission. And I'm going to tell you what, if you don't work for it, you don't get none, okay? And in this regard, get your foundation. Get with a good company that's going to teach you the basics, the fundamentals, and you got to get your feet wet. You got to get out there, start knocking on them doors, start picking up that heavy phone and calling folks and remember working seven days a week doesn't mean you kill yourself it doesn't mean you drain yourself but what it does mean is your mind is in the game you got to take a little bit of relaxing i go to the gym baby i go to the gym about five or six days a week i love it i'm in there for about an hour an hour and ten minutes that's my that's my that helps me mentally but even in the even in one of the gyms and stuff that i go to because i go to them all i always carry what my business cards and i also have electronic business cards so i can just say just text in this information and it'll take you right directly to my business card even if i don't got a paper one on me yeah, I sound excited, guys, because let me tell you why. Right now, I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm right now getting ready to go to my mom and dad's house, getting ready to have a nice Sunday lunch and everything like that. I've already had a customer contact me this morning. They, We were talking business. Well, only about 30 minutes. But right now, I put it on my heart that, remember, guys, when you work seven days a week, it doesn't mean you physically, I mean, just go all in like crazy, Okay. What it means is is just be available. Be available for your customers. And if it ruins your day a little bit, that's okay because, see, that means you'll be able to pay your bills. That means you'll be able to pay for that house. That means you'll be able to pay your taxes. That means you'll be able to pay for your car, your kids, your education. So remember, it's not a bad thing when you have to work seven days a week. Okay. (laughs) You know, God, he gave us six days. We should rest on one day. But see, see, in my job, in my business, it's like there's ups and downs. There's lulls. There's slow times. There's fast times. There's busy times. And so in this regard, when the going is good, get it. Okay. You got to get it. You got to get it, get it, get it. And that means if you have to work and be available seven days a week, it's okay. Because eventually you'll get to a point where you build your business up and it becomes a lot more easier. But in the beginning, honey, Bonnie, you better get out there. You better start knocking on some doors. You better let those people be able to get in touch with you. And you better be out there telling everybody about your business everybody okay listen guys i sell real estate so if you need something give me a call (laughs) i'm just saying guys because listen guys my name is gary lee stanley i am your sales guy and we just had a wonderful conversation about selling and working seven days a week i hope you got a little bit out of this video because i did it makes me want to work smarter Not harder, smarter, okay? So make sure that you watch this video. Give me a thumbs up, pass this information out, and don't forget to enjoy the ride. It goes fast. And enjoy making the money, honey, because you got a business to run. All right, working seven days a week. I can do it. All right.